as we know, we use cratering to date planetary surfaces. Um, the only absolute measure of planetary surface age that we have is from the moon, from radioactive dating of lunar soil samples. But using the moon as a cratering reference, uh, we can then calculate the cratering rates on other uh, surfaces and get relative dates to the moon. So this is how we use the cratering as a way to date the surface. And when we look at Venus, here's what we notice. Um, first of all, it has relatively few small craters. So most of its craters are greater than 10 kilometers in diameter. Um, and so why doesn't it have those small craters is question number one. Um, and then when we look at some of its other craters, the larger craters that we see are often in multiples. So like this one um, or asymmetric. So uh, I don't think I have good pictures here of asymmetric craters. Most of these are you know, circular, but you can find examples of you know, multiple impacts like this or impacts that leave kind of elongated shapes. Um, here's the largest crater on Venus, crater named after Margaret Mead. And it's a little bit bigger than our biggest crater, Chicxulub, um, the one that led to dinosaur extinction. Um, so fairly similar when we look at the large craters to Earth. Um, but very different from Mercury and Mars in that it doesn't have small craters dotting its entire surface. Uh, and so based on all this crater information, uh, the best estimate that we have is that the surface is about 300 to 600 million years old. And so my question for you is two questions. Um, first of all, why would Venus have fewer small craters than Mercury or the moon? And then second, is this um, age a young or an old surface, and what does that imply about Venus? All right, so the ideas I'm seeing are that the small craters are not, um, not on Venus's surface because small objects are burned up in its atmosphere. Um, this is the same situation as we see on Earth. We don't see very many small craters on Earth either, uh, but Mercury and the moon don't have atmospheres, so they have craters of all sizes. So um, that explains why there's fewer small craters. Um, so that means that in order to date the surface, you have to use large craters to make your count. And so then when you compare the uh, number of large craters per surface area to Mercury and the moon, then we see that it's about 300 to 600 million years old. And that's a young surface. And so, you know, the solar system as a whole is the same age as the planets in general, which is about four and a half billion years old. So this is, you know, several thousand times uh, younger than the overall age of the planet. So that means that relatively recently, at least within the last, you know, three to 600 million years, it's been volcanically active and been uh, resurfacing, filling in some of those craters.